what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here this is going to be the review for bird box i know i'm a little behind on this uh haven't had time to get around to it i've watched the film but just haven't had time to sit down and do the review uh so this is going to be my review on the net the latest addition to uh, the netflix original film library netflix has a lot of plans going into this new year and i think with the recent uh with this recent film bird box despite like its polarizing reception it got from most mostly critics and fans it has been like a big trend there's been countless memes based on the film there's been a bunch there's even a challenge some people have gotten hurt from this challenge netflix has issued a warning against participating in the challenge the, the movie has just caused a it's just been a big piece of a lot of discussions closing out last year and coming into the new year it's been one of the recent one of the more recent trends uh, in recent memory for netflix might also have something to do with their recent hike in the prices if you've been keeping up with them but anyway the film stars sandra bullock travante rose john malkovich machine gun kelly aka colson baker sarah paulson who is going to be starring in glass which i will be doing a review for tomorrow danielle mcdonald lil rail howry if you recall correctly he's from get out he played tsa but to hop right into the movie our central character is Sandra Bullock, who plays Mallory, the film's protagonist, she is basically a woman who is, she's grounded in her loneliness. She doesn't really get, connect with too many people. She, you can see from the jump, she's distant from her sister. She's distant from her mother. Uh, she doesn't really have a, she doesn't really like to get close with too many people, probably due to past relationships. And then we find out during the film, possibly has something to do with her father as well and the, how she was raised. But basically this is a movie about her learning to accept motherhood surrounding a whole uh post-apocalyptic while at the midst of being in a post-apocalyptic world so in this film we're in a society where unseen forces are they've begun terrorizing like not just america but it started in europe and it's spreading all throughout the uh, the entire world they're causing members of society to, to commit, commit suicide after appearing as their worst fears or regrets this is one of the theories that's introduced from Lil How Lil Rail Howry, um, the movie never makes it actually official that that's what is actually going on. But everyone has taken his theory, and that's what we're running with. That's what we're gonna run with here. So that so these people are dying because they're seeing their worst fears or regrets. Uh, from a narrative standpoint, I think this was a this was a good concept because it's based on Josh Mallerman's debut novel. Uh, I think I've read a few pages of that back in high school. This movie isn't per se bad. It's just kind of all over the place. Not all over the place, that's a bad term. I wouldn't say it's all over the place. It's just lacking and answering a lot of questions. It gets, I believe it comes more focused in, I can tell that they wanted to do something special here, but it was probably that, that mindset that prevented them from remembering to focus on leaving in important answers, or maybe they didn't want to answer certain questions because maybe they are planning to do a sequel. But several things go several things go left unanswered. Uh, you have you never really find out where these creatures came from or what what their intent is, which isn't really necessary. But it would have been nice to get something regarding the creatures because we don't even, we don't even get to see what they look like. Sandra Bullock and everyone in the film, I think they give uh, they give good solid performances. Sandra Bullock being the standout. Uh, Trevante Rhodes, he does a he does an amazing job with his little part as Sandra Bullock's love interest in the film. Uh, basically, what basically what ends up happening is it it comes down to just being Sandra Bullock and a select survivor, and they together are forced to raise these two children. Which I'm not going to explain how these children came to be, but one of them one of them uh, has a connection to our main character. And so does the other one, but not so much. So that's all I'll say. These children, they're basically faced with the challenge of raising children during the apocalypse, much like John Krasinski's A Quiet Place was in similar fashion. Also similar to A Quiet Place, this movie involves its survivors suppressing one of their five senses in order to remain alive in this uh, post-alien invaded world. I'm gonna call them aliens. I think the writing is fine. I thought the cinematography was fine. I thought the directing was fine. Suzanne Beer, she, has some ama amazing shots in here as far as like capturing the people's eyes when uh and i love that effect in the in the victim's eyes when they were about to die i thought that was an amazing effect to watch on screen i think suzanne beer did a did a great job of capturing certain things capturing 
uh, the look in the eyes of the victim as they were dying, capturing and angling, like the whole scene at the end. There's a very tense scene at the end with Sandra Bullock as she's trying to find her kids. And like the, the way the camera's painting around Sandra Bullock like that, I thought that was amazing. Uh, but really was driving this movie home for me is the character development of Sandra Bullock because that really is if you if you're paying attention to it you'll see what I'm talking about this is about her coming from being a lonely person to actually learning to let people into her life and learning to accept her place as a mother because she at first did not want to be a mother she wanted nothing to do with it uh, she doesn't even give the kids names their names are boy and girl I thought that was all this stuff is symbolizing or it these are all like plot devices that in the end amount to her ultimate character arc in the end where she finally learns to accept her place in this world as a mother she's now willing to connect with others and she's willing to let other people in all around I think Bird Box is a solid six and a half out of ten I wasn't blown away by it not that not that this I do think it could have been better but for what, what was presented in front of me I'm giving this a six and a half I wanted to give it a seven but it was just too many things that I thought were too many things were inconsistent in the in the story to me there were certain things where they never they didn't explain why s some people were dying and others weren't I thought that could have been handled a little bit better uh, and then like the characters just got progressively stupid as the film as the movie went on certain people they just got even stupider with time you you would think they would become more intelligent uh, and another thing that I th I didn't think made any sense at all is now in the film everyone's wearing blindfolds to stay alive my thing is why why did everyone decide to use blindfolds it's not it's not necessarily that blindfolds is the issue it's my issue is that why did everyone decide to use blindfolds i just i just don't think that would have occurred uh but this is this is a movie that's just something that bothered me i'm giving it a six and a half out of ten for the amazing direction the character development of uh mallory the acting across the board was solid for the most part i thought there was a lot of tension there was enough suspense and you actually genuinely started to care not necessarily for the for the supporting characters as much but if they didn't if they didn't manage to make you actually care about Sandra Bullock's character and Sandra Bullock is an amazing actor so I wasn't surprised but if they didn't actually make you care about her and the two kids I think that would have ultimately led to me giving the movie a six because it does have a unique concept I doesn't I just don't think it was executed to its uh, greatest potential those are my thoughts on Bird Box. I'm giving it a 6.5 out of 10. Let me know what you guys thought about the film down in the comment section below. Did you enjoy it? Did you like it just as much as I did? Uh, or if you didn't, also let me know that down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, subscribe and turn on post notifications. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know what movies you would like me to review in the future. With all that in mind, guys, stay tuned tomorrow night because I will be uploading my review for Glass.